What's up, Go High Level Experts? And yes, if you're at this point in the course, you are a Go High Level Expert. And to be completely frank, with the info in this course, you know more than the majority of Go High Level users out there. In this video, we're gonna learn how to onboard our SaaS clients. So we got on the call with them, they wanna go forward, we've signed them up, we've accepted their payment, and now I'm gonna show you how to set everything up for their individual sub account. Okay, so you're at the end of your sales call, the person wants to move forward with the software. So you're gonna to go to your agency account, you're gonna to go to the SaaS configurator, and you're gonna to go to the plan that you sold them on, you're gonna click the link here, and you're gonna copy this link. Once you've copied that link, you can do this one of two ways. You can go up and you can paste that link into your own browser and you can collect the payment from them over the phone or you can email them the same link and then they can put in their payment info. But either way you wanna collect payment from them, do it on the call. Do not let them get off that call. It'll give them a chance to second guess themselves and they might not ever end up putting their payment info in. I speak from experience, it's happened to me. I always make sure either I'm typing in their payment info right here, or they themselves are typing it in on the link that I emailed over to them, but I'm still talking to them on the Zoom call while they're filling it all in. Once they submit their info on this payment page, it'll actually create a sub account automatically for this client. The way that you'll find their account is it'll just be called their first name, last name, account. So it would be like John Smith's account. So let's say for example that this is John Smith's account right here. We would just click on it. We would then go through and make sure all of their account information here is correct. And then we would click on general info. And then in the business name box right here, it'll say John Smith's account, but that's probably not his business name. So you'll go in and you'll edit this and you'll type in whatever his business name is. And then you'll go down and you'll type in all of this other info here. And then you'll jump over to this social profiles tab and you'll type in all of the links to their social media profiles. Now, if I go back under my SaaS configurator here, right here, you'll see the snapshot that will immediately be imported to this person's account when their account is created. So you don't actually have to upload the snapshot. You can just go in down here. It'll look like this. You'll just hit select snapshot. You'll select whatever snapshot you want for that person's account. You wanna make sure that you have the correct snapshot in there before you send them this payment link and they put in their info. If you have a different snapshot imported in this subscription level here, then you'll have to go back into their sub account and then you can go up to actions and you can load snapshot and you can load in a different snapshot than the one that's showing on the different subscription levels. But the easiest way to do it is under your SaaS configurator and just to add it down here. If you use the same snapshot for all of your clients, it just makes your job a lot easier on the account setup. That's why it's easiest to work with a single niche that you can just build one really good snapshot for instead of working with a bunch of different types of businesses. Cause then you'll have to go in to each account and do a lot more legwork to get it set up to whatever their industry is. If I didn't already have a snapshot uploaded in this subscription plan here, just like this one right here, then when I send them the payment link up here, it actually will still create their account, it just won't load a snapshot into their SaaS account. So that's where I was showing you before, you can just go in and you can click on their sub account and you can just load that snapshot in manually. But then from there, you'll really just wanna jump into their sub account and you'll really wanna just help them go through and get a phone number. So we'll resolve that really quick. And we would go in and give this client their own custom phone number. We'd wanna go in and make sure their calendar is all set up right here under the calendar tab. You'd wanna jump over to their launch pad and make sure that they get their social media profiles connected their Google business suite, and then send them a link where they can download the Lead Connector mobile app. One pro tip for onboarding clients is to create an automation for it. So my automation starts out when I tag somebody with the onboard tag. It removes them from all of our other workflows, and it just sends them an onboarding text and an onboarding email. This text message says, Hey John, welcome to Advanced Selling System Software. Make sure to download the mobile app at link below. I give them the link to the Apple App Store so they could download it if they have iPhone. And then I also give them the link to the Google Play Store if they have Android. And then it says, we also sent you an email with your account login info. Once you've logged in, go to the Launchpad tab and connect your Facebook profile and Google Suite if you have one. So that text just automatically fires off when I tag this person with the onboarding tag. And then this email right here says, hey John, we have created and set up your advanced selling system systems account. Make sure to bookmark the login portal on your calendar. Your username is their email. Their password is a custom password that I set up for them. And then you can access your account at the link below. This is my white label domain right here. 
And then once you've logged in, go to the Launchpad tab and connect your Facebook profile and Google Suite if you have one. Let me know if you have any questions. Other than that, we look forward to the onboarding call. So I actually jump on a second onboarding call with all of my clients. I walk through the whole platform, make sure that they understand everything. And by doing this up front, it saves me a lot of time and hassle later down the line. Because I spent some time with them up front, they're not going to be hounding me and calling me and texting me and emailing me with a bunch of questions later down the line. But yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to do when you're onboarding a new client. I'm excited to start seeing you get some new clients and start making some incredible passive income every month.